Moving on to another bus story, but a positive one. It's a rodeo, but not the kind with bulls. Rather, this is R-O-A-D-E-O for buses, their drivers, and mechanics. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum tells us it's all to practice safe and reliable transportation to the people of Jacksonville. It's not boots and chaps or cowboy hats, but rather a rodeo of a different sort. JTA is competing in a rodeo where bus operators test their driving skills and maintenance teams demonstrate their automotive repair skills. There is a serious competition that's going on. Our operators get a chance to show their driving skills and our maintenance personnel get to troubleshoot our uh, equipment and show their maintenance skills. The winners get a trophy and the opportunity to take their skills on the road to compete in the annual Florida Triple Crown Bus Rodeo in Daytona in April. If they're successful there, they're going to go on to the North American competition in Nevada in May. The course is set up to challenge all of their skills in terms of left turns, right turns, backing the bus up, maintaining a certain speed, and stopping it on a dime if they need to. So uh, it really gives them opportunity to challenge their skills. There are seven defects planted in the engine and our transmission. Then you have the maintenance side. These guys are the ones that keep the buses up and running. They had 10 minutes to figure out the issues with the engine to qualify. One group found all seven defects within a minute. It was also a day for JTA to bring out their families, to show them their skills, enjoy some barbecue, ice cream, and face painting. Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, the local station. And they make it look so easy. So as far as the winners, Ramon Farfan, he took first place for best bus bus operator, Tommy Cruz, Tony Martinez, and Ricky Ballard. They go by the name of the three amigos. Well, they were the first place maintenance team, and they all move on to the state-level competition at the end of April in Daytona. Congrats.